I haven't seen I haven't seen any of your stuff. She's spoken so much about you and spoken so highly of you, but I haven't gotten really? around to Yeah, she has. She's said a lot of great things about you before. Oh, well, before when? <laughs> <laughs> Every day since I've ever met her, all she says is talk about this mysterious man who lives in Chicago. <laughs> really? Because, yeah, because, pretty- that, because because you know, um one of the last times I saw her, we were <clears throat> we were <laughs> laying out in the grass in the park, and Katarina's going to be in her. And I was like, Katarina, what would you like me to do? And she said, Dave, hold your nose like this and say, I'm an asshole. I said, okay. <laughs> I'm an asshole. I'm an asshole. I'm an asshole. And I said, so now what? And she's like, that was good. And I'm like, so why am I'm a, why am I an asshole? And she's like, because you won't let me get away with anything. <laughs> In other words, I was empowering her and loving her and respecting her when she was in a mode where she wanted to feel justified through self-victimization. And that's what I wasn't letting her get away with. I was just like, I love you and you're awesome. And I'm going to respect whatever you want to do. And, you know, whatever you want to do, I respect that. And that's why she said I wasn't letting her get away with anything. I wasn't giving... You know, it takes two to tangle. I wasn't dancing. She wanted that boxing match. I didn't want to give it to her. I was just like, hey, cool, whatever you want. And, you know, that's how I tease the trolls on, on YouTube, too, actually. I got a couple of videos where I'm actually complaining that trolls won't troll me. I'm like, come on, I'm in the YouTube Partners program. I need more visibility. Come on, trolls, make me money. I want you to inflate my checking account. What's your problem? I need the troll love. Come on. You can watch those. It's in there. But that actually diminishes troll responses and raises the responses of people that are worth you know, de- your demographic because it more attracts the people who think it's funny. Like they're thinking, yeah, I got troll problems too, so maybe I should do something like that, and maybe that'll keep the trolls off my ass. <laughs> and the trolls hate it for the same re- reason Katarina hated it when I was respecting her. Is you know, I was in that embrace with Katarina, in that embrace with the trolls, saying, "Come on, trolls!" So suddenly, I'm no fun now. It's like I don't want to fight. I'm saying, come on, give me a hug, and it's like, wait, you don't want to fight? I, I can't get off on being intimidating and get a rise out of you. Uh, you're no fun. You become a dry well. So then all you res- you attract are the people who are like, wow, that was cool what you just did. And then that <laughs> builds your demographic. Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> Money isn't good or evil. It's just energy. It's all what you do with it. And right. it's, it's like that old saying goes, uh, what Jesus said, um, you know, give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day. Teach him how to fish, and he'll never go hungry again. Well, that's the same thing, and that's what I've noticed Empower Network does. Empower Network doesn't just dole money to people. They they offer resources and the means for someone to uplift themselves. And they're just like, hey, if that's what you're into, cool. You know, we'll welcome you in. But if you just want to be on the dole and take and take and take and not do your part in anything... Because, you know, doing their part, it isn't doing their part for you. It's doing their part for them to become a sovereign individual. Because sovereign individuals can only co-create with sovereign individuals. Right. It's power. (laughs) Yeah. People are like, I don't want to deal with anybody. They're backstabbers and whatever. No, they're just immature. Just like you wouldn't have, you know, a a bunch of kindergartners rebuild the World Trade Center because you just have a bunch of little kids getting hurt on power tools. It's the same thing. A sovereign individual can only co-create with another sovereign individual. If a sovereign individual tries to co-create with someone who isn't a sovereign individual, then it's like, you know, getting kindergartners to try to rebuild the World Trade Center. It's going to end up in disaster. Those kindergartners may one day grow (laughs) up to be the adult construction workers Mm -hmm. to then be able to rebuild that safely. But if you try to do it when they're kindergartners, you're just going to have a lot of little kids getting hurt on industrial equipment. So it's the same thing. (laughs) That's that would be the equivalent metaphor to they're not ready yet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. See, I love using crazy fucking metaphors. It really because you know if I keep it like simple, like really simple, it just goes in one ear and out the other. People You're absolutely like, right, though. Oh, no, I'm seeing little kindergartners run around with power tools, drilling each other, <laughs> and having exactly. a. <laughs> like, like, you know, you know the quantum and physics and metaphysics. Like, 
what you put out is what you get back and the whole energy construct with that. I have a, a, a simple but crazy saying for that that gets people's attention. It's neither metaphysical nor quantum physical. I like to say this. If you have, if you shit in a bucket, you're going to have a bucket of shit. So if you don't want a bucket of shit, stop shitting in the bucket. And if you do happen to shit in the bucket, don't blame the bucket. <laughs> so we all do that, don't we? We do. We shit in the fucking bucket, and then it's like, oh, man, I got a bucket of shit. I'm so depressed now. And, and it, the bucket's all. And it's the fault of whoever put the bucket there. It's the fault of the bucket manufacturers. It's the fault of God for allowing buckets to be created. So we blame anything and everything else. We Except don't take responsibility ourselves. for our own choice. Well said. I'm, I am not shitting in buckets anymore. <laughs> well, if you, if, if you do, then see, uh, see opportunity instead of burden, dig a hole and mulch the shit. It's good for flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. No, I'm just uh, a yeah. <laughs>